We turn to Shanghai now. The group of 20 finance ministers and central bank governors have wrapped up a meeting in the East, East China's metropolis to discuss ways to boost global economic growth and reduce risks. The world's 20 biggest economies agreed to use all policy tools and structural reforms in an effort to lift sluggish global growth. Jiang Shaoyi has more. Joining to face global financial challenges. On the last day of the two-day meeting, China's Minister of Finance, Lo Jiwei, said the G20 members had agreed to use all methods at their deposit to boost the economy amid slowing global economic growth. We agreed to closely monitor the economic and financial developments, and we will use all policy tools, monetary, fiscal, and structural, to counter risks, foster market confidence, and strengthen economic growth. Lo said all member nations will use fiscal policies flexibly enhance economic resilience and ensure debt to GDP ratio is on a sustainable path. He said monetary policy would continue to support economic growth and contribute price stability. Meanwhile, structural reform has also become a major focus of the two-day meeting. After China took over the G20 presidency, we've made structural reform the most important element in the framework of economic growth. A coefficient of structural reform will finally be established to measure the reform process of major member countries. The core aim is to boost the deepening of structural reform among major economies and the rest of the world in an effort to truly realize a sustainable and stable mid- and long-term growth in the global economy. This is the first time China has hosted a G20 meeting since it took over the presidency this year. Premier Li Keqiang said he was confident of China's capability to handle the complex situation at home and abroad, and there was no basis for continued depreciation of the yuan, despite a slowing economy. Jiang Shaoyi, CCTV.